A company in here making billions refuses to pay his workforce a decent wage. And they simply now are in an industrial dispute trying to get a bridging payment to take them up to the next payment. And they're not even being listened to. We've been asking for a hardship pay rise and they just said no and they won't even negotiate with us. We've got the Nike Blue Book, it's a national agreement. They're tied into a two and a half percent this year and next year. So all we've got available under the Nike is a bonus payment of £1.62 on this site. Small fry, but it's worth about 50 or 60 pounds to the guys per week if they work all the hours. But you've got Exxon Mobile, the client digging in along with Bill Finger, Enervio, Royal Engineering and All Trad Services. Inflation is currently at 14% RPI. That includes housing and living costs. The employers use CPI, which doesn't include that. Royal Engineering, Enervio, they're the smaller of the two contractors, but Bill Finger and All Trad Services, the larger, both made £13 million profits. And they made £3 billion, this lot, Exxon Mobil, in profits for their last quarterly returns. Everybody's suffering. There's a lot of pent-up anger on that refinery. A lot of lads are really, really cheesed off. They're sort of waving it under our noses, saying, you know, we're making this much money, we don't know what to do with it. And we say, well, you know, can we have a pound, right? And they're, no. They said they had an offer and they wouldn't tell us what the offer was unless we withdrew this industrial action. Put the offer on the table and we'll start negotiating tomorrow and the strike will be suspended. If you can't do it, then sorry, it continues and it will continue for a long, long time. No, I'm all right. No, I'm all right. Oh, don't touch him there. Oh, 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 oh,
pay the people that are qualified to do the work and have stuck with you. We worked through the pandemic, a lot of the lads put themselves out and that's throughout the country, obviously the doctors, the nurses, railway people, everyone in the country I think has done more than enough or to help their firms make, carry on making money but also putting their lives on the line. When it comes to us helping them, we did, no questions asked, we got on and done the job and we're asking for the same from them to us. There's been a lot of negative um, things flying about on social media about what's been going on in these strikes and I just want to reiterate to the public um, of Farley that the majority of that stuff is not, it's just, it's just false rocking bands, um, both whistling school children, things like that and it's just, that just categorically has not happened. I've contacted the police myself over the comments, um, they've said that they haven't witnessed any of it. That mindset, that culture, it's a bully mentality, that's all it is and I know that the group of workers out here on, on dispute won't be bullied, won't be browbeaten because you are the Forley Fighters! Yeah. Yeah.